and today I'm here with my family to do the scary movie horror movie tag thing. I saw Stacy over at Stacy Stories do it and I thought it'd be fun if we did it. So let's get started. Question one is what is your favorite scary movie? Favorite scary oh, movie. I want to hug you again. Okay, go ahead. You want to watch Rapunzel? You want to watch Rapunzel? Rap Rapunzel's Penny's favorite scary movie. So, what's your favorite scary movie? Favorite scary movie would probably be Devil's Rejects. Mm. Um, yeah, the Rob Zombie movie uh, about just a crazy family that just does messed up things to other people. I mean, it's. I think it's it's good just because. Um, it's not really like a made up villain. It could actually be real. It could actually happen in real life. You know, it's not some kind of know creepy paranormal kind of thing like that it's it could be real life so I mean I've, I think that's why that's my favorite scary movie. Yeah. 13 Ghosts was also another favorite of mine and mm -hmm. uh, Joyride. Mm -hmm. Joyride was another. Sphere. Sphere was a uh, it's a great movie we have to watch that sometime if you haven't seen it. It's um yeah they're just basically they there's find this a thing in the ocean. Yeah it's like a spear that's down in the ocean they find familiar. it and they go down to like inspect it and it I like I guess there's like an alien down there or something like that. But this alien's like basically acting out their worst fears. Yeah, like it it's... sounds familiar. I might have seen it, but I don't remember. I mean, it was I, it was scary to me in the sense that like my biggest fear I think you know in real life is is the fear of drowning. So like just being underwater, like that whole movie is underwater is like yeah, just terrifying. Um, my favorite's definitely The Shining. Uh, that's my favorite. Yeah. That's my favorite scary movie. Um, it's. The book is really good. The movie is different than the book in some aspects. However, I feel like it's just equally as good and as scary as the book. It's my favorite. It's scary and it's, it has a good storyline. So that's why I find What is the first horror movie you remember watching? Uh, probably the first, I mean, I've watched a lot, but the first one I remember actually scaring me, shame to admit this, but is The Leprechaun. Oh, yeah. Terrifying. I don't know why. And like, <laughs> I bought it as an adult just to rewatch it, and it's so dumb. And I, it was it was terrifying as a kid. I don't know why. Just just a little dude running around trying to get his gold back. Yeah. <laughs> um, I remember I was either four or five, and I remember watch seeing my mom watch Chucky. And I think it was just the original. I'm not sure which one, but it was one of the Chucky movies. I remember like crying and telling my mom to stop watching it because so I didn't like actually sit and watch the whole movie but I remember seeing parts of it. Um, I can't remember what my first like scary movie, I want to say maybe Carrie or... Well for you it would be E.T. but... <laughs> that doesn't count. Question three, what type of horror films are your favorite? Going back to my, I guess my original one is just, you know, ones that can actually happen. Uh, the Saw movies were, I mean, just... Those are good. Yeah, those are good. I, I like the murder mystery kind of, like, with Saw, you know, it's a, it's a mystery. You're trying to figure out who, what's going on. Also, uh, The Hills Have Eyes, that was also a really good, scary, like, series, I guess. Second one, obviously, not as good as the first one, but uh, that was a good thing. Just because, like I said, you know... It, I don't think I've saw I've seen that one. Hills of Eyes? I don't think so. Those are the people that are, like, radiation, there's, like, in the hills, and they capture the people that are going through, they get lost in the desert. Yeah, I don't think I remember the cover. I don't know if I've ever actually seen. I like the the plague stuff. You know, the zombie stuff. Outbreak was a good one. Twenty eight days later, stuff like that, where it's just like society starts to crumble. You know, and like all this stuff happens. It's just. I would say I was gonna think your favorite was uh, like exorcisms because you own a lot of oh, exorcism yeah. movies. I own those because those things terrify me. Once going along, you know, like the things. I guess uh, as far as like not being scared of paranormal stuff, exorcism. Terrifies yeah. me. My favorite type are just ones that have really good storylines, I guess. Like Saw has a really good storyline throughout the series. I'm not a huge fan of gory for no reason. I don't know. I think a lot of movies might try to. Anything that has like a twist. Well, Arrival was really good. I don't know if you really categorize that. Yeah, the alien movie. Yeah. I don't know if you categorize <laughs> that. A horror well, movie. It's Paranormal. Yeah, it's paranormal, yeah. But that was a really good, really yes, good twist. Yes, really and good storyline. That was for great. sure. I don't know things that are more cinematic. I guess like a more cinematic experience in a but with a horror storyline and genre. Yeah, the new It was definitely falls in that category. Yes, I mean, the it, it is so, so new. It's so good. If you haven't seen it, recommend it. 
What type of horror films do you not like? Okay, I can't really name one I don't like. I mean, like, I like, you know, like I said, the... Do you like the cheesy ones? Yeah, I mean, they, are, they all have their own little thing, you know, like, I like watching the old ones, they're like the old zombie movies. I mean, they're not... Well, you know what you're it's getting. Just, yeah, you know what you're getting into. Like, I mean, I haven't really seen a bad, scary movie in a while that I can remember. Mm. I mean, I guess you really don't remember no, the things that were No, didn't bad. you not like... What's that, that cannibal movie? Oh, uh, Green Inferno. Was that good? Green Inferno was okay. Um, I mean, you said it was, was it just gory? It was I just gory. Or, I mean, it really wasn't like scary. It, right. Yeah. There's a difference. But for those that don't know Green Inferno, it's about some college kids that get lost in the jungle and captured by an indigenous tribe that, you know, no one's seen in a while. And they're, uh, I guess, basically cannibals. That's probably just my least favorite is just, I don't know. I remember we'd have, like, sleepover parties and watch, like, rent like the cheesy scary movies from like the 80s and 70s and 80s but you know what you're getting so you can kind of laugh at it some of it's still scary so i mean what movie has given you nightmares well obviously you know i said the, the leprechaun but when i was when i was a kid like i don't ever really Whatever. remember being as an adult scared by a movie um I guess I've been watching scary movies and, you know, scary TV shows for a long time. I still remember when I was a little kid, like, watching Tales from the Crypt. Uh, I mean... No, I could not <laughs> watch those. Yeah, I forgot. I had nightmares of that guy. I didn't, I've never even seen those shows. My sister, I think I was staying with my sister, and her and my brother-in-law were watching Tales from the Crypt, and I, like, that little Crypt guy. A movie that scared me as an adult, though. Uh... The knowing. Yes, knowing. Or yeah, just knowing. I was super excited about that movie because I like the analytical stuff we you know with math and like, oh, these dates, you know, are leading or these numbers lead to this event or whatever. But then the way the, the movie ended, I just felt sick to my stomach. It was like, oh, well, the world ends. If you didn't know, spoiler alert there. <laughs> but it was just, yeah, I mean, just felt sick and just like, I actually, you know, would have like a, a reoccurring nightmare about that. It's just. Aww. Cause like yeah, the thing that they, you know, that the kid looks out the window and he sees the animal on fire, and like, you know, the trees are burn burning and stuff like that just, yeah. cause well, there's nothing you can do about that, you know? It's well, just you kind of expect like, oh yeah, they're going to save the world. The world's not going to end. Nope. They die. Nope. It does. And so, I mean, that was good, I guess, in that. And then another movie I remember having nightmares from was Carrie 2. We had a sleepover in like fourth grade and we watched Carrie 2. And the scene wasn't even a scary scene. It was actually like a sex scene, <laughs> like a a very detailed scene where the video, like them doing it was filmed and it was like projected over like the high school or something. And anyways, I just had nightmares of that because I was like, however you're old you are in fourth grade, I just remember like, having nightmares from the, like that scene. You watched that in the fourth grade? Yes. Oh my gosh. Well, I've watched things <laughs> that I should not have watched. Like we we always had sleepovers where we watched those scary movies. I mean, we didn't know there was gonna be, you know, doing it, I guess. But I guess that doing it comes with scary movies in case you don't know. What was the last movie that actually scared you? It. It. Oh yep. man. <laughs> Well, I think that was, I mean, the, that was the last scary movie we saw together. And, and yeah, we saw it in theaters and it was it really was scary. Very scary. Yeah. Of, I mean, even like when you expected the jump scenes, they still got you. Yeah. And there was a couple of jump scenes I didn't expect. Right. Like it, it was good. Yeah, unexpected. And then plus just the, just the panning in on the clown, like wasn't even a jump scene. It was just like scary. Like it was just a scary movie. Yeah, it was great. I was really impressed. Who is your favorite horror film villain? <sighs> Freddy Krueger. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> I love Freddy Krueger. I mean, just something about, uh, I don't know, it was just, he's just a creepy guy, you know, and he gets you when you're, you're most vulnerable, you know, when you're asleep, and that was yeah. just always, I mean, just like the the kids singing the song or whatever that are sitting there jumping rope when the, the movie first starts, just that, I mean, I can always, you know, just hear that, that little song they sing or whatever, they're jumping rope, and it's just, it's a scary movie. It's a, and he's a great villain. Yeah, and very just, unique yeah. villain. Yeah, it was very good. I kind of want to say Jigsaw, yeah. just because, oh, those Saw movies are so good. If you've never seen them because you're too scared, yeah, they're scary, but there's such a good storyline with, the villain and what, why he picks his people and... I wouldn't really say it's scary, it's more... 
well, it's gory. Scary. I mean, it's just. Well, it's if you not have a weak stomach, too, it's not a good well, it's, movie. Because <laughs> it's torture. Yeah, it's torture. It's a torture movie. Um, it's not. Some scenes are are gore, gory. Some, it just depends on what's yeah. happening to them. I remember watching the first Saw film in high school and just being like, <sighs> like it was just so, that ending no, was just ending, so yeah. good. The first one. Who is your worst horror movie villain? The worst horror movie villain, and it's really not so much the villain. It's Pennywise and the TV made for TV series of it when he transforms into the spider oh, thing. Yeah. You can tell, I mean, it was just, it was so bad and just so poorly done. But I mean, it's also, you know, was that night like early nineties? Mm -hmm, I mean, it's made for TV, so the the money, the budget, or whatever, you know, the technology is not there. But it just felt really cheesy. I mean, kind of like it just looks like a, a toy spider chasing well, these kids around, like, and it's just blown up, like it's. Well, everything else was good until that part. Until that's, that part, and I think that's what really kills it, you know? It, that's the crescendo, and it just... Yeah, I mean, it just kind of reminds me, I mean, and it reminds me of Monty Python and the Holy Grail, like, at the end of that movie, it's like an animation thing, it's like chasing around the people, and <laughs> the animator dies, you know? It's like, oh, it's this little toy spider, and they shoot a silver rock at it. Well, one of my least favorite films that I've seen uh, is, was... Uh, Children in the Corn, it's super cheesy, very scary premise, like terrifying. Um, I can never, every time I hear the name Malachi, I like, and it's a biblical name, it's like, nope, that's, no, demonic name, I cannot. Very good until like the end where like they start doing these sacrificial things and like to this, I, can't, I don't even know what it is, like to this little thing that lives in the corn. And it's just, it was really cheesy, like the, like there's like a storm and I don't know. So, and Malachi kind of got really crazy and weird towards the end. So he's very scary, especially to get a whole town of children to, you know, kill their parents and stuff. That's pretty terrifying. Spoiler alert. <laughs> well, oh, next question. Worst horror movie you've ever seen? I would say either bad story or bad production or bad everything i don't know i guess i don't know if you can count it as a horror movie an action movie whatever it was called the the sharknado thing i didn't oh. understand <laughs> i never saw it it's terrible i don't understand like the whole hype behind it maybe it's the hype is it's so bad that's what and it was. that's why people like it garbage wasted an hour of my life because i didn't even finish it i was like oh this is this is terrible and I just watched some episodes of The Office because that's good. Hmm, besides Children of the Corn. Another bad movie I don't like is, well, I like it, but I don't like it. Like the, it's a bad villain too if you want to go on that is Tremors. Tremors is awesome. Tremors is good. I remember liking it. I loved it as a kid. As a kid. I remember liking yeah, it. As but adults, I mean, terrible. Uh, Snakes on a Plane on Samuel L. Jackson. Another terrible movie. Next question is favorite series. Horror series. movie series. Horror movie series. The Freddy and Jason series are all pretty good movies. I've only seen the first, and and then maybe the remakes. I mean, they were pretty. They were pretty good consistently. Uh, the Chuckies are good. Yeah, mine's definitely Saw for sure. I mean, I love Saw. What about like Men in Black? <laughs> that's not. That's not horror. scary. That's comedy. Terrifying. Favorite music scene from a horror movie. Ah. Uh. Well, favorite horror music, I would say Halloween is definitely iconic. And then the Exorcist music is one of those two that, you know, just you hear them and it just, you think of Halloween. My favorite is definitely the shower scene from Psycho. The free, 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 free. I mean, it's iconic. What scenes or movies have grossed you out the most? Oh, taking it back. Um, I can't remember the name of the movie. I'm terrible. I have terrible memory on movies. It was the recent one. It was about the girl, like those people, those kids that like bullied oh, the, that, that online girl one. online. And yeah, she ended up killing herself. The scene where the kid puts his hand in the blender. That was gross. I feel like that was, was also called? done in another movie before. I think it was it was uh, Children of the Corn with had the blend, hand in the blender see. thing too. So there you go. Yeah, I can't that remember. or ooh, taking it back to a uh, pet cemetery. When the little kid's hiding underneath the bed and he cuts the old man neighbor's like Achilles tendon with a, Ugh. oh, that's just, that just looks painful. I, the entire uh, Th House of a Thousand Corpse movie, <laughs> I, like I, I, those movies are nasty. Um, and then also, I, I think it was called Evil Dead. I saw the remake 
uh, with some friends in college and uh, it like literally rains blood. That was the, probably the most demonic movie I've ever seen in my entire life and uh, yeah. Going back Very to that gory. movie. Unfriended. 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 If you haven't seen it, it's kind of, yeah, 2014. It was pretty good. Last question. If horror movies were real, would you rather be in a zombie apocalypse, abducted by aliens, or trapped in a haunted house? Zombies all the way. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yes, zombies. Big fan of The Walking Dead. Yep. Um, I think it's preparing us for it. Exactly. So never, aliens, no, no, because I don't know what, what to expect with an alien. Zombies, no. I believe I, I trust my wilderness skills to live out in the wild. Yeah. On my own, I can scavenge. Probably He's not in the best of away. shape. So running away would be pretty hard for a while. Well, if it's the slow <laughs> zombies. The slow zombies. Now, depending on the zombies, are they the fast zombies? Fast zombies? Mm, I don't know. It's a tough break because I'm going to get caught. I, just, I don't think zombies would be fast. Yeah. They're dead. They're dead. Dead, slow walking zombies all day. Yeah. I'll take it. Yeah, me too. Slow moving herds. Stuck in a haunted house. Uh, no, nope. because I can maybe do uh, just ghost weird stuff, but most of the haunted house movies or books I've read, they're like demonically possessed houses. Someone with Eddie Murphy. It's like a <laughs> haunted mansion. No, I don't want to be in that. I was stuck in the haunted mansion and be okay. <laughs> Hang out with Eddie Murphy. You stuck with Eddie I Murphy? I think it's Eddie Murphy. It is. It is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, well, those are all the questions. If you guys like scary movies, do this too. Um, I highly recommend doing it with your significant other or a friend. It's fun to kind of talk about and banter back and forth about certain things. It's kind of hard to remember all the scary movies you've seen or what yeah. falls in that category. Definitely seen a lot. I mean, yes, a lot of good ones out there. Um, so, yeah, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!